Thanks, Bonnie. And finally, a man with an extraordinary life shared his story in Torrance recently. The founder of Angels of East Africa goes to the most dangerous parts of the world to save children. But as reporter Shanine Cayetano explains, this dangerous mission actually helped save his own life. I went to Africa and uh, had something unbelievably happen to me. Uh, I believe, you know, everyone says I rescue these kids, but the kids rescued me and uh, just changed my whole life around. Sam Childers' life was in dire need of change. He was a ruthless drug dealer and user for years. At the time, he did not value his own life. I don't have a problem with dying, but, you know, when you're dying for no cause, that I have a problem with. That's when Childers discovered his faith. He cleaned up and became a reverend. In 1998, he went on a medical missionary trip to war-torn regions in Africa. The violence happening in South Sudan left Childers with haunting memories. While he tried to leave his personal hell behind, he found hell on earth and discovered a cause he is willing to die for. I seen a body of a small child that stepped on a landmine. And uh, I remember I stood over that body and I said, God, I'll do whatever I can to help these kids. Childers joined the Christian military group, Sudan's People Liberation Army, also known as SPLA. The group turned political party fought against the Sudanese government, who funds the genocide of other ethnic groups. You tell them other people will come and leave Sudan, but I am here until this war is finished. This paved the way for his unwavering commitment to South Sudan and Uganda. And while fighting for the safety of the Sudanese, he started helping children separated from their families during the war. We ended up finding their family. Maybe their dad was dead, maybe their mother was dead, but we found family members to place them back in their home. Back at home, Childers' own finances were in jeopardy. With the threat of losing everything, he sold what he had to start an orphanage. I started to cry and I said, they can have the house, send the money to Africa. We have a lot going on. I have a primary school, I have a nursery school, I have a clinic, uh, I'm in the midst of building like a Votech school for woodworking. Right now we're feeding over 2,400 meals a day. Childers is like a myth in Africa, a rebel turned savior known as the bearded white man. But this man is real and continues to prove it to the children of Africa. Those children know that those men and me will give our lives to save them. One of the biggest things is to show them love. The second thing is let them be children again. There's more to just saving their life. Then you, then, then you got to rehabilitate their life, but then you also got to teach them a trade. His life has so many chapters, so many battles fought, and so many questions to answer, prompting him to write an autobiography titled Another Man's War. At the end of the day, when the fight's done, it wasn't my fight to start with. This powerful and gripping book is often more than just an autobiography to the readers. It's an eye-opening wake-up call and an inspiration. The biggest thing about the book is it's changing people's lives. But if Childers did not change his own life so many years ago, he could not have changed so many lives around the world. By giving himself a second chance, he was able to do the same for hundreds of children in East Africa. For City Cable 3, I'm Shanine Cayetano. Thank you, Shanine. Reverend Childers donated two of his best-selling books to the Katie Geisert Library. He will soon release a second book, and there's even talk of a movie deal. Proceeds from the book and other fundraising efforts will go to a second orphanage in Africa. For more information, visit angel.